sa isulti lang ako.
Living through our times is not as easy as it seems. But we want to make a difference. And we choose to be on, on the sunny, sunny side. side. Father Saturnino Urias University launches on the sunny side. Wednesdays from 10.30 to 11.30 in the morning. Live from our official FB pages and YouTube channel. When things don't seem to make sense, we choose to be on, on the, the sunny side. side. Madiyaw nga hinaat butuan, maayong buntag karaga. I am Rochelle of Father Saturnino Urias University. This is On the Sunny Side. Magandang umaga, Pilipinas. Good morning, world. This is Mark Bond for On the Sunny Side. This... We are live in the live FSU main campus right from the heart of Butuan City. And it's good to be back. This is a special episode of On the Sunny Side as we culminate the 6th Mindanao Peace Studies Conference brought to you by this university in our partner, GIZ. This year's theme is Peace for Mindanao in the New Norman. And this time, there is a photo competition which we are featuring in this episode. We will showcase the photos that were submitted for this competition. Essentially, these photos must show what is peace in Mindanao in the new normal in the eyes of the youth who are the participants of this competition. There are a lot more of surprises that we shall bring you in this special episode of On the Sunny Side. Though uh, most of the, or all of our episodes are really interesting, but today it's a special episode. It's specially interesting. Yes. <laughs> Today is a special episode because we will be showcasing a photo competition. And actually the winners don't know yet that they are the winners. We'll be announcing it towards the end of this show. So though participants are following us, stay close, don't let go because who knows you will be the winner for this competition. So stay with us and together let us use this space to talk about this. And let us listen to a message from our partner, GIZ, the principal advisor of UCAP, strengthening youth for a culture of peace and non-violence in Mindanao. We give you Ms. Gunil Shwitala Roof. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ms. Guni, we're live now. You may start your camera. Thank you. We're still we're waiting, still waiting for, for the signal, the signal from, from our, our friend, friend of, um, from the GIZ. The GIZ. I'm ready. There, there. I'm listening. Go ahead, Go please. Ahead, please. Well, thank you very much and it is uh, a real honor for me to open this radio program and show with regards to welcome the winners of this year's photo competition organized between FSUU and GIZ and the topic Peace for Mindanao in the New Normal. I am actually very happy and also very proud that uh, with this year's photo competition we already doubled the number of participants and I really appreciate all people and participants who sent and handed in their photos. They are all really great to look at. So thanks to all of you. A special thanks obviously goes to this year's winners. Rico Theodor Karasko, Mark Ian Damosok, and Anel Cabano. So I'm really happy to listen to them afterwards and hear a little bit more about their photos and the stories behind. Another special thanks goes to our jury of this year. Uh, this is Niki Zafra and Anne-Mae Yonko from FSUU. 
It is Sean Boscano from Caraga State University, who, by the way, was also amongst the winners of last year's photo competition. And uh, from GIZ side, it is Vets uh, Kali and uh, Jay Rosas from our Civil Peace Service Program and Albert Prutong and Laura Steinacher from GIZ UCAP. So big thanks also goes to them. I will definitely not comment on the photos and uh, also not comment on why the jury decided uh, to have them nominated as uh, the three best. I think we will have to listen and we should all listen to the jury and obviously to our three winners about their photos and the story behind. But before I hand over, I would like to give a quick overview and uh, link why we think photography is such an important tool for peace building and nonviolent conflict transformation. And I think that is actually about uh, the power of storytelling. We all know that storytelling in its different forms helps to create empathy, helps to heal, helps to create also mutual understanding amongst and between different cultures, religions and people. And I think that is exactly what we also try and want with this photo competition and exhibition. To create empathy, to listen to others, to their stories, to their perspectives and thus create connectedness and mutual understanding. And uh, I am now very happy to hand over to FSUU and also to our winners to hear a bit more from them first on their photo and the story behind. And then second to also hear from the jury why they selected the three photos as the best ones of this year. And what impacted them especially when taking a look at the photo and listen to the story behind. Thank you very much. Danke, Danke. Shell, our friend from GIZ, Ms. Guni Shwitala Roof. And she said something earlier which we will not repeat. We would like you to hold on to this program to hear again the names of the winners. Thank you, Ms. Guni. And we would like to give our certificate of recognition to DGIZ, who has been our loyal partner all these six years of Mindanao Studies Peace Conference. And it reads, Father Saturnino Urius University presents this certificate of recognition or appreciation to Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit, UCAP, for the invaluable support and generosity extended as partner during the conduct of the Mindanao Peace Studies Conference 6 on November 23 to 26, 2020 with the theme Peace in Mindanao or Peace for Mindanao in the New Normal given today 26th of November at Father Saturnino Urius University but one city signed Reverend Father John Christian Yu Young President FSUU and Reverend Father Randy Jasper C. Ochiga, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Research, this university. So once again, thank you, GIZ, for the opportunity to be part of it. Yes, we, cannot, we couldn't have done this without your help and your collaboration. Stay close to us later on. We'll be saying hello to all our friends who are joining us on Facebook. There are a lot of them. So write your names if you want to hear your name mentioned in this show. So for now, let's take a very short break. We shall be back.
Association for the Mindanao Peace Studies Conference. Live and alive from Father Saturnino Urius University in Butuan City, Philippines. So we, we would like to say hi to our viewers and our friends who are watching right now. Right. So we say hi to Johanna uh, Rodolin Lofranco, uh, also Jomar Basad. Hello to Kim and Arlene. Thank you for joining us. Hi also to Cheryl Martel from Bayugan City, uh, watching from S F S U C B I. Esther Badalos is also watching. Hi Esther. Hi Jess Humeras from Asafi. I think it's, this is from Agusan del Sur. Hello to Mel Lorente Alaan from Madrid, not Spain, but Surigao del Sur. <laughs> Hi to Archie, all the way from Tacloban. We're, some, we're having a little difficulty here. Please love my ears. <laughs> Hello to Deng Gigiento. Hi to Zam Palomo. Hello to Vonje. Thank you for always watching. To Donna Oliver. Do you have some more there? Elena Garcia to Sheila May Kayakap from Asafi and to all our friends who are watching us right now if you want to make yourself heard join us on FB or on YouTube so we can greet you live here so we also encourage everyone to share this webcast to your FB pages so that a lot of your friends or your classmates can also be with us for this morning's episode of On the Sunny Side yes don't, fo don't hesitate to share like and share our uh, webcast so as we said earlier, this is about, uh, this is a special episode that will feature the photo competition of this year's MPSC6. Yes, and this year's theme is Peace for Mindanao in the New Normal. And the focus is on the new normal as an integral element to moving forward for peace. This conference is also aimed at strengthening Mindanao youth-led and youth-oriented peace building. And Mindanao Peace Studies Conference 6 wants to discover how the youth as agents of change are acting as agents of peace in the new normal through storytelling. I think Ms. Muni mentioned this one a while ago. Right, because you see, they can tell their stories through photo competition. That is why we have this. This photo exhibit is aimed to establish a creative approach in dealing with issues of sharing peace in the complex and new circumstances that the COVID-19 pandemic has brought us. That is why this year, the GIZ UCAP project, which is still in a preparatory phase, and the Civil Peace Service organized a photo competition entitled Peace for Mindanao in the New Normal, which is still, which is actually the theme of this year's Mindanao Peace Studies Conference. And we would like to hear now the message from the partner from this university. We will be represented by our VP for Administrative and Student Affairs. We give you Engineer Zinaida D. Azura. Good morning, everyone. For the last three days of the Mindanao Peace Studies Conference 6, we have heard different discourses on the different session themes. On the first session, we tackled the challenge of peace building in the face of violent extremism. This was followed by an intercultural forum with the theme, Dynamics of Inclusion and Exclusion in the Context of COVID-19 Pandemic. We have a very interesting and insightful session on peace building and the anti-terrorism law contributions, and continuing challenges. We also have a fruitful interaction in the session, youth leadership and social media in the context of COVID-19. Yesterday's sessions focused on the continuing health challenges, new conflict lines, social dynamics of new normal, and peace education, and the digital divide during the time of COVID-19. Indeed, we have many takeaways in every session presented. We wish to thank the panelists and the participants for their positive response on our invitation in this online event, a first in the Peace Studies Conference's six-year history. Today, as we culminate the Mindanao Peace Studies Conference 6, we will be showcasing the work 
Awards as we announce the winners of the photo competition relative to the theme, Peace for Mindanao in the New Normal. Congratulations to the winners. So stay with us and keep tuned. Remember to be always on the sunny side. Welcome and good morning once again. We are back here on the sunny side, live and alive from Father Saturnino Urius University in Butuan City. And we have a lot of friends who are joining us on Facebook right now. Hi to Eltimar. Eltimar Castro, hello to Donna Espuerta, Gina Nuliora. You have your friends there. Hi to Ivy Guden uh, from Trento, to Ida Hoven from FSUU, to our friends who are joining us. If you want to make yourself heard, and mentioned by the name, just send us or write down in the comment section so we can see you. So, Mark Bond, do you want to greet our uh, friends? I'm having a problem with my cell phone. Okay. <laughs> but I, uh, may I say hi to all the members of the Social Science Division who are pretty sure watching yep. uh, every episode of On the Sunny Side. Thank you very much for joining us. Okay. So, last year's MPSC already had a photo competition. 20 of its participants were given the chance to attend a master class. And this morning, we will show their entries. Um, we'll see if we can show them before and after of a few participants and as well as their testimony on how they benefited from the competition. And I think we have here something. Yes. We will tell, who will tell about their master class experience and we have a pre-recorded um, testimony from Loverly Buladaka. So let's take a listen. Targeted participants to the photo competitions are youths between 15 and 30 years old, include, including internally displaced persons from the communities in Mindanao of diverse culture and ethnicity. And the best 20 entries, in addition to being exhibited, will receive a photography masterclass. And during this masterclass, the young people will be brought together to share their experience with building and sharing peace across communities, regions, and religions in times of COVID-19 pandemic. The deadline of this year's entries was November 1, 2020. 20 photographs were chosen and weighted based on the selection of criteria by a jury of seven representatives, to which from GIZ and the Civil Peace Service, two student representatives from the FSUU, as well as one participant from last year's competition. So the participant last year was already a judge for this year. Yeah. It's already a judge. One of them. Yes. So who is our first? So here are the jury or the members of the jury for this year's photo competition. First is a technical advisor for peace education, a GIZ UCAP in preparatory phase. 
a, uh, a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Architecture at Western Mindanao State University and also a member of Youth Solidarity for Peace. The first member is Mr. Albert Puto. Our second jury is a development cooperation trainee at GIZ UCAP, which is still in its nascent phase. She graduated Master of Peace and Conflict Studies at Goethe University in Frankfurt, Germany, and is a freelance journalist, Ms. Laura Steinacke. Another is a project assistant for media and conflict-sensitive journalism. Graduated Bachelor of Science in Development Communication in the University of Southern Mindanao and also an alumni of Asian Institute of Management. Here's Mr. Ved Scali. The next jury is a project assistant for knowledge management and communications with the Civil Peace Service Project of GIZ in Mindanao and has been in the development work for more than 10 years, focusing in the area of communications and media. We have Jay Rosas. The next jury is an exhibitor and winner of last year's photo competition. Currently taking Bachelor of Science in Electronics and Communications Engineering at Caraga State University is Mr. Sean Odi Buscano. Next jur jury is a photo photojournalist who won fifth place in photojournalism English category during the National Press Conference at Coronadal City last 2016. She is our student in FSUU taking up nursing, Ms. Nikki Kareel Zafra. Last but not the least is a third-year student in this university taking AB Communications, excels in radio broadcasting and script, write, script writing, as well as writing and performing spoken word poetry. She is Ms. Anme Monique Hongko. And we are lucky that this morning, two of them will be able to talk with us yes. later on about their experiences as jury for this mm. photo competition. But before we proceed, let's say hello to our friends. There are, there are a lot of comments now on our FB page, no, yes. our um, webcast on our FB page. Yes, you can follow us on FSUU Butuan City, Philippines. Uh, FSU Basic Education. And we also have on the other pages of FSUU administered FB pages as well as our YouTube channel. Yes, so if you haven't liked or subscribed in our YouTube channel, by the way, click subscribe and hit the bell icon to, uh, for further notifications. We're saying hello to our friends in Trento. There are a lot of them who are watching us right now. Thank you for joining. Magandang buhay to Cherise Aspera. Uh, hi to Flor Delis Villaluz. To Jeffrey Karin, always there for us. Ivy Guden, mm -hmm. who else? Uh, Gerald Cabalan, also watching. Maria Christine Joy Dimko. Uh, Cecil Sostino, also, all the way from the faraway library. Hi to Ma'am Jancy Alpha. Uh, your comments are always very yes. sensible. Hello to Marie Beth Ison. You still have some friends to say hello to? Rudilin Dublero, to Lorna Magsino, Jessil Cole, to Gerald Cabalan, to Maria Christine Dimco, and to our friends who are joining us. Okay. So now, let us see what are the criteria in this competition. Okay, so first is the relevance to the theme, which is 30%. Okay, that means the relevance to the topics of chances for peace in the so-called new normal, mm -hmm. which is becoming actually now the, the normal of 2020 and creating new spaces for peace building in times of the pandemic. Okay, and another 25% for the creativity and originality, which comprises the technical aspects, such as the uniqueness of angle, Focus and etc. Twenty percent is given to showing diversity that includes being inclusive, the actors, the cultures, religions, age and gender present in the photo. And also messaging and interpretation, that is twenty percent, clear and matching message and compelling story behind the picture, based on the one hundred fifty word summary submitted in addition to the photographs. So that means they did not only submit pictures, they also submitted their um, comment on what they took because there's always yes. a story behind it mm -hmm. and lastly extras 
because we posted the, all the pictures on our FB page. So the most liked and most shared photo will get 5% in the criteria. These are the, um, I think we will tell you later who are the, or which photo is the most liked and most yes. shared. And I think this is also very important in order that the photo comp competition would be much more engaging. Yes, yeah. so that yeah. those who are watching can also give their comments or yes. show their feedback by mm. liking and sharing the photos. Okay, so I think you are you already know the pictures for you for those who are following the uh, FB pages of FSUU or the main FB page of FSUU. I think you know this picture already, but we will be presenting the 39 finalists okay, in this webcast. So there are 39 yes, finalists 39. for this photo competition. Last mid-October, there was a call for entries to the competition, and we have to underline that the participants for this are the youth from Mindanao. Yes. Okay. So the participants were GIZ's partners. As we said, the youth aged between... 15 to 30. That's right. Because if you're beyond 30, you're no longer youth. <laughs> <laughs> Based on that definition. Yep. <laughs> so, to widen the reach of the call for entries, it was posted on the official Facebook page of GIZ and cross-posted on all FSUU-administered FB pages. And the participants were encouraged to use any medium accessible to them, mm -hmm. such as smartphones or a camera, which I think... Um, there are many people, I think if not all, a lot of people has a smartphone or yes, camera. You don't have to have an SLR to be able to capture a good photo. Yes, and this is to guarantee equal access to Mindanao yep. CU. Even a simple smartphone will do. Yes. Okay. So we will present to you the 39 participants of this year's photo competition. We will present the pictures and we'll just read out their names. So, go ahead, let's see. are Rico Tidori Jose, the third Carrasco. We have Mark Ayan Dumosmog. Dumosmog. We Ar have Arnel Cabanao, Christian Lachica, Thonicar Bastillada, Christy Joy Balienas, Sabdel Ocate, Gerald Cabalan, Limuel Barola, Janila Aparese, Aaron Vidal, Muas Ubair da, da Tomato. Datu Manung. Uh, Datu Manung. Christoph Castellano. We have John Reeve Insoy. Michael Tahadlangit. Gabriel Villanil. Freyel Esteba. Neil Aldrich Rian Kulta. Junkil Bao. Jen Emmanuel Mungado. We have Dan Dacilio Ardimer. Aliana Isidore Grace Rodinas. We have Raina Amirol. Justin Bob Barrera. Innocent. What a name. And Charilyn Basuga Ihara. Johanna Lu Cabajes. Rachel Sicharon. Yvonne Paler. We have Nareel Jade Hanoyan. And also Mark Lester Campas. Kent Jules Yango. Raymark Istael. We have Fidel Pasco Jr. And also Asnia Muhammad. Fatima Nani. Nor Salam Abu Bakar, Regino Oroz, and Abdul Wahid Peng. So these are, you see the photos of our, beautiful photos of our participants for this year's photo competition. And I think these are not just um, beautiful photos, but uh, it's also inspiring. It's good to share a message just in a simple or just in a photo, a creative post or a creative. Uh, photo share uh, showing their skills and talents also on photography and if you want to read uh, their captions you can go to the F um, Facebook page of GIZ and I think yes. it's still on our Facebook page also where you can see the the description for each photo because it's not only a, it's not only the, an image there's also a text behind it okay so before we proceed later on to the announcement of winners we would like to acknowledge our partners who have been with us all this year especially during this year this is the first time we have a virtual peace yes. conference 
because you see in the past five years we are used to having all our friends here in our um, university but this time it's really a big change yes. and we would like to acknowledge our partners various organizations who made possible the MPSC 6 especially Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit or GIZ through Ms. Gunil Shutala Roof, Albert Putong, Laura Steinacker, Ved Kali, and all the wonderful people of GIZ. Okay, we also acknowledge and thank our FSU management team headed by its president, Father John Christian Young. Engineer Zenaida Di Azura, our vice president for administrative and student affairs. Father Randy Jasper Siochige, our vice president for um, research. Yeah? Uh, Academics Academic Affairs and Research. And, research. and also um, Janine Rabon, Ms. Janine Rabon and Mr. Lindon Duque. And our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful speakers yes. and we actors, they provided the meat in the conference. Okay. And also the Mindanao Peace Studies 6 conference, uh, Mindanao Peace Studies Conference 6 core group headed by Father Randy. We started the ball rolling for Mindanao Peace Studies Conference in 2014. You know what? And this is actually his idea from yes. way back in 26, 2014. Thank you, Father Randy. And also, uh, Ms. Charlene Alegre, Jeffrey Karin, Kim Derama, Arlene Amora, Arlene Floretta, and Janina Alfante. And the Secretariat, Christian V. Turing, Imelda Ocon, Roxanne Tuazon, Marinel Paler, Christine Haranilia and all the ever available student assistants of the various offices of the university. And of course, the technical team, uh, Mrs. Advinias, Maurice Nortega, Freddy Conde, Kakay de la Peña, Ellen de Sala, Brendan Bautista, Lori Buque, Brian Genesis, Ram. And our facilitators and moderators who helped us with a seamless flow of the conference. Yes, our FSU administrators, program deans, faculty members, and students. The PMO, we can never do without them. Engineer Haniola and his staff. Also our caterers and all the little hands who help make this happen. And to each one who shared a space of peace, who shared with us a table of peace during this conference. Daghan kaayong salamat sa tanan. So, in participating in the competition, photographers participants or participants considered what peace means to them and how to express their ideas creatively. In addition, the Masterclass Lenses of Peace in the New Normal will bring the winners of the competition together and teach them technical skills as well as creating a team spirit of people from Mindanao working on their perceptions on sharing peaceful lives together. The Masterclass will take place in 2021. Depending on the circumstances, it will be decided whether it can be done face-to-face -face or will take virtually. The, tw the top 20 pictures will be included in the Masterclass. And there will be a virtual awarding of a certificate to the winners. So, we are now getting into the most important part of this. Who are the top 20 yes. who will take part in the master's class? Remember, I, there are 39. Yes, out of 39, top yep. 20. They yep. have chosen, the jury have chosen 20 top photos. So So I think the participants right now are very excited. Yes. So are we ready to show them the top 20? Okay. Here we go. Castellada, Christy Joy Balienas, Sabdel Ogate, Gerald Cabalan, Lemuel Barola, Janila Aparese, Aaron Vidal, Mua Subair Datumano, Christoph Castellano, John Reeve Insoy, Michael Tahadlangit, Gabriel Villanil, Freyel Esteba, Neil Aldrich Rian Kulta, Junkil Baok, Jem Emmanuel uh, Mongado. There goes the top, the top 20, 20 
Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to our top 20. Beautiful pictures, right? Pictures that tell us about what peace is in the eyes of yes. the youth in this new normal in Mindanao. I think all of us have our own preferred pictures, but yes. we give the decision to the jury. To the jury. Okay. So, are we going to present the top three or we'll have a short chit chat first with our two of our jury members who are here with us through Zoom. We're saying hello to Anne May and Nikki. Hi, would you like Anne to say something? Hi, Nikki. Do you hear us? Can you hear us? Hi. Uh, who would like, uh, who would to, like go to go first? Hello. Hi. Okay, Nikki. Okay, Nikki. Yes, ma'am. So how was, so your, how experience was your experience as, as jury, jury member in this, in this photo competition? So as jury in this competition, it gives me headache <laughs> because it <laughs> yes, yeah, so, because it is my first time to be judged in, in this uh, so-called competition. Like before, I'm just only a contestant, and but with the help of my co-jury, um, we we get the the best photo on this um, competition. That's right. I was supposed, I was supposed to, to, to ask, was it easy to, to choose, choose among, among the three, among, uh, among the photos? photos. I but I think it's not. Yes. And also, yes, and also right. Andre, I presume. Did it give, did it give you sleepless nice nights thinking, thinking over, over the photos? <laughs> yeah. How about you, How about you Andy? Andy? Um, worked on it for almost, I don't know, five nights thinking how will I choose the best photo among the 39 photos because um, everyone was great. So it was really hard for us. I can't imagine, I can't imagine it, was it was hard for you to decide. To decide. But thankfully, but thankfully there, there were seven, were seven jury, members. jury members. Yes. And, and helped that helped you decide, decide spread out the criteria and decide a lot better than if you were alone in deciding the yes. photos. Mm. So aside from them, we have another five members of the jury. And in a while, we will be announcing the top three. Yes. Okay. We will not, we will not anymore ask you your, your preference because, because the jury, the jury as a team have already decided. So any, do you have any message to the participants who are watching us right now? Um. Who goes first? Go ahead, Hello. Mickey. <laughs> so good luck to all. I mean, good luck and God bless and congrats to all winners. And Anme. Anme. Um, to all the participants, we would like to thank all of you for joining the competition and giving it your best. We really had a hard time deliberating because you are all so good. Um, congratulations, and I hope that the master class will help you hone your talents better yes. because there is really pot potential there. And I hope we will be learning with you as well. Let us learn together so that we will grow and be peacemakers through photographs. Thank you so That's much for the right. opportunity. That's right. And thank you, Nikki and Anne for being with us today mm -hmm. and sharing from the Jewish point of view how it was to be deciding on a lot of photos and yes. putting, it, putting it down into the top three. Thank you, Nikki and Anne May. And for the, and for the participants who, who make it to the top 20, don't worry, there will mm. still be opportunities for you. Take that as just one of the lessons, you know. We don't always win in life, but yes. there are always a lot of chances for you. There are so much opportunities. So are we going to show now the winners? We have not presented yet the top three. Okay, so here goes the top three for this competition. That's entry number three, Amel Cabana. Entry number 9, Mark Ian Dumaslo. And entry number 8, Rico Tudor, who said the third Carrasco. And I think they're joining us right now. Yes. Okay, can we listen to them? Where are our top three photo winners? Hello. Hello, are you there? Okay, we're still waiting. You know, with this virtual conferencing with them, we have to put our chances yes. to technology. 
Yes. Okay, while waiting, we would like to say hello to our friends who are watching us on Facebook. Thank you very much for joining. We see a lot of congratulatory messages here. Thank you for joining and for um, inspiring also our young photographers to go on with their passion in capturing the different languages of peace through pictures. Yes, and there are also people watching at YouTube. So uh, let us say hi to Cheryl Martel, mm -hmm. Edmar Sinados, John D. Adlaon, um, Helen Mantisa, um, Mam Lili Bet Boligor is also watching at Hi, YouTube. Hi, mi amiga. Okay. And Janina Alfante, Andrew Escobal, okay. uh, Etabi Chanel, Don, uh, Donna Olivero, and Jay Dumalagan is also watching. Gilbert Zerondo. Zerodo. We also have our friends who are watching us, our colleagues. Hi to Weng Nakita and to Lek Lek Paguta. Thank you for watching. Father John and Father Randy are also watching us right now. Hello to Mika Va, to Vets Kali, one of the jury members who are watching us. Hi to Mom Vanji Hamili, to Lorna Magsino, also to Ruel Balbuena, Zaida Mudag, Charlotte Luzada, and to Richelle Ganzan, thank you very much for making thank your you presence for felt. your participation. Okay, and you know, this is the end. Um, actually, this is the last, um, the culminating activity mm. of the Mindanao Peace Studies Conference 6. And it's good enough that we have this photo competition to show to you as a way of capping off our four day yes. um, MPSC 6. Six. And this goes on for. Um, for I think it's going to be annual that we have this peace mm. competition. So we have with us two of, two our, of our winners. winners. Congratulations. Congratulations! Can you please introduce yourself? Here's Mark Rico. Hi! Can you hear Hello. us? Hello, ma'am. Can you hear us? Yes. Okay, go uh, ahead. What was your photo? We didn't come on Binisaya, huh? <laughs> what is your photo? Can you share some of your inspiration yes. with the photo? Uh, Ina Samis Imongalan. Okay. Uh, I am Rico, Rico Carrasco. Uh, I am a graduate of BS Biology and uh, currently I am a research facilitator of an NGO. And uh, my photo is uh, the one that depicts a uh, conversation between Sultan and the peace builder. Ah, okay. okay. So how was yes, it, how was the experience uh, for you? Uh, uh, how did you how did you decide uh, on choosing that photo? Just the photo, yes, ma'am. Uh, for a week, I I've studied the uh, mechanics of the uh, competition. Uh, mm -hmm. Luckily, meron po kaming event sa ground uh, that time. And mm -hmm. then, uh, ako, may dala-dala po kong camera with a 50mm lens. Uh, oh, wow. Nag-try lang po mag-snap ng few photos during the event. And then, it, that was an FGD uh, because uh, currently we are uh, working on understanding the violent mm -hmm. system. So, uh, during that event, uh, I've seen the, the connection between the, the uh, interviewee and the interviewer. So I, I, I click a couple of shots. Then that one, uh, I think that emphasize, uh, that has an emphasis on uh, how to build peace, having connection okay. between two groups. Thank you very much Thank for very that much. photo. Okay, how about um, Mark Ayan? Hello, are we <laughs> are we hearing ourselves? <laughs> Can you hear us? Yes, go ahead. The, the man in yellow shirt. Can't hear you. Mark Ayan, unmute. Mark Ayan, can you please unmute your mic? Okay. Okay, I'm here now. Okay, okay. So, by the way, I am Mark Ayan Kitamusmo from 
Bayugan City, Agusan Resort. And I am teaching at Nubuhal Elementary School for almost one year. So I took the photo sa near bawal lang sa spilahan na mo kaya na may nag na may mga resident dito where in dito nagpuyo ang mga angkoan ito akong gitake sa photo and then I choose those photo since we are experiencing the recent armed conflict incident doon sa among school so and with that experiences it really affect our learners there but still we are fighting on it and see the goodness and positive side of it so as a teacher so as a teacher there so we're trying our best nga mabalik og makita kung sa ka maayo ang among school in that that is a, a very, very negative scenario in our school. that is a very very important role you are doing you know trying to put peace even if it's very challenged in your place yes and it, i think it's also inspiring to all our viewers your story in the photo is also very inspire, inspiring to to all our viewers well actually their pictures are so nice you yes. don't need to read the caption anymore okay thank you very much thank and congratulations you. you are part of the master class so once again rico theodore jose carrasco and mr mark ayan de mosmo Okay, I would like to read a comment um, sent by a friend about the picture. She said, it's such a grace to witness the revelation of how peace is captured through the lens of our young peace builders. That's from Janina. Oh, Janina, I love your comments. Thank you very much for making them heard. Okay, so okay. thank you very much once again for sharing your thoughts of peace by capturing the pictures. So, we are giving them also certificate. Let's take a look. This certificate of participation is yes. for our participants. participants. Mark Bon, would you like to okay. read it? So, the text reads, Certificate of Participation uh, is presented to the participant for having actively participated in the photo exhibit, exhibition and competition with the theme, Peace of Peace for Mindanao in the New Normal during the Mindanao Peace Studies Conference 6 held at the CBA Function Hall, Father Saturnino Urias University, given this 26th day of November 2020 at Father Saturnino Urias University, Butuan City, Philippines. Signed, Reverend Father Randy Jasper C. Ochige, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Research. And also, Ms. Gunid. Guni Shwitala Roof. Guni, yes. The principal advisor of UCAP, UCAP of the GIZ. Okay. And we would like again to say the name so you won't forget them. These promising photographers, Rico Teodor Jose Carrasco, Mark Ayan Dumsmog, and Arnel Cabanao. Thank you very much for showing us what peace looks like in your lens. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So we are at the end of the program already. So once again, we would like to say thank you to all our friends who are joining us, who have been joining us in our peace conferences since day one in 2014 until now. It goes on because we always have to give peace a chance in our table, in our conversations, in most places. But before, before we, we go, go, we would like to greet two team members who celebrated their birthday today. We have uh, Vice Pres our Vice President for Administrative and Student Affairs, VP Zen, and also Mr. Freddy. Freddy uh, is our kinakusgan in yes. the AVR. Thank you very much. He takes care of our audio and you know he always has new toys. Example, <laughs> example new, 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 gadgets new gadgets to help us in our webcast. webcast. And there goes, and there goes a special episode of On The Side. And thank you for joining us the last four days as we shared the table of peace, as we shared the conversation of peace. Until the next Peace Studies Conference, and our final, final word, word for, for today, today is from Albert Einstein. Okay. So it says, peace cannot be kept by force. It can only be achieved by understanding 
Thank you, Mark Bond. Thank you, Mr. It's Chef. always a joy to share the this space with you as we talk about things on the sunny, sunny side. side. Dagang yeah. salamat sa tanan and until the next time, let your light shine and become a beacon of light in this troubled world. And choose peace and always stay on, on the, the sunny, sunny side. side. Bye. Bye everyone.